everybody back to them. <laughs> Yes, that is a larger pipe. Yeah. So the exhaust system we welded in homes from the midsection all the way back. Oh, wow. So it's dual exhaust out both sides. Okay. Right. It's all the stainless and at the right size. Oh, so okay. now the engine's breathing better, making more yeah. power. Uh, of course, you know about the engine. You have been going through that completely. Uh, carburetor has been gone through. Transmission has been done. Um, I did have them put in gauge in oh, there. Okay. Okay. Um, it's still, I still have the mechanical okay. one on here, and this can be undone without the existing mount there. Mount, so we're not, there's nothing modified. We can leave it. I want you to leave it now because I want you to, I want you to monitor it. 230 and under, we're good. 230 and over, shut her down. Um, and that way you can get to learn your gauge where this is. Um, she was typically running between 190 and 210 for me, which is between half and three quarters up here. everything of course we painted the hood Used to be on a clutch system, so a clutch system on the cooling fan from the engine only at certain RPMs will it spin fast enough. I put a direct one on there to give us more cooling. I know you guys said it was running hot forever. I know I've experienced it running hot, doing everything, but did everything I can physically do to cool it, cool that baby down. Well, yes, appreciate your knowledge and, and how to do that because, as I say, since we got it, that had been just its These nature. Are that's the fuel. That's the fuel, that's the fuel pump fuel pressure pump. regulator. Oh, okay, that's the that's pump fuel. is actually mounted underneath the cab, back by the fuel tank. That's the pressure regulator. So when it comes up okay. here, it, we regulate the pressure back down to what the carburetor needs. Okay. But we have it pressurized up here, so we don't get the vapor lock. Okay. Okay. Great. It's all right to move this to get the check the oil. Yes. Okay. Great. Okay. And the oil was like I said. I just changed it yesterday. Brand new, fresh. Okay. 10W30 okay. conventional that, oil. That's what they recommend. They yeah. also recommend adding a zinc additive in with the oil. So I put that in there really? as well. Okay. And whenever okay. we need to do another change, just come to us. I'll make sure it gets okay. taken care of. Okay, good. I'll do that. Dude. Okay. What does the zinc additive do? Uh, it just helps with uh, the oil adhesing into the metal. Okay. Okay. Basically, you want to keep the metal needs to keep a thin coat on it all the time. The zinc helps the metal absorb. Everything's new. Rocker arms are new. Okay. Everything in there is new. It's okay. it wasn't rebuilt per se. It was remanufactured. Okay. Um, I did put in an updated aluminum core and aluminum radiator. Okay. Um, so in the heat. Okay. I did put in the, the okay. electric cooling yes. fans, and those kick on at a certain degree and kick off at a certain degree, okay. and that will help keep her cool. Good. Um, due to the vapor lock issues, due to the fuel that we have today versus what the car was designed on. All that electric fuel pump. No, Jackie, you will get some buzzing and humming noises from behind your seat area. That's yeah, it's what it needs to be if you want to keep it running. Perfect. What? What? What did you say? I forgot about hearing that. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
master cylinder. That's the new master cylinder. Okay. Um, it sounds like the only thing that you haven't replaced <laughs> is the driver. Pretty much. <laughs> but I drove it, so... <laughs> but the, the electric fuel pump, I think you'll really like it. You'll, and it, you will hear it, because we have a certain kind of it heated up right. no uh, yeah. fuel pressure. Yeah. But uh, especially like on a real hot day like today. It'll be louder on a hot day. Yeah. Okay. You know, where you have that vapor lock. That's this will push that fuel, fuel through, yeah. through the engine lock. Yeah, this is a great, great uh, idea. Yeah. Yeah. About the, the truck and the restoration job that McCloskey Motors did. Absolutely fantastic. We bought this truck 46 years ago in New Haven, Indiana. And Joe and all of his team have made it new all over again.